Hey, everybody. Mark Edward Lewis here from cinemasound.com. A lot of you have asked about what my settings are for OBS. Awesome question. And I'm just going to dump them on you. And uh, I've gone through a lot of iterations of what works and what doesn't. I'm using the Logitech camera. Um, so be clear, these settings may not work for your camera. I'm also running the Mark of the Unicorn 1248 uh, audio interface, which is I'm connecting via USB. And my settings there for audio should work for any settings that you're using where you're using an audio interface. If you're just plug it into your computer, first of all, don't do that. Use an audio interface or some kind of USB mic. Um, but make sure that your settings match the settings of your mic or whatever it is that you're doing digitally. All right, let's roll. All right, it's a little wonky here, a little Zulu vision. Woo! Yay, so we're looking at into infinity and beyond while I stream the screen that uh, OBS is streaming, streaming, creaming, streaming. So um, I just, you know, here's my camera uh, doing a little green screen. I've got the display capture going. I have an overlay, which is currently muted, which, well, if I were to bring it up, it's basically this you guys have been seeing. Um, and then this is the audio interface. Let me show you the settings that I have for the audio interface. I'll go to properties, which is the Mark of the Unicorn 1248. Yay. And then advanced properties looks like this. Uh, I've got the volume at zero because I balance it uh, so that I don't go over. You can down mix to mono. What does this mean? That means that if you've got a whole bunch of channels and you've got like, say, um, the uh, Saramonic UW Mic 9 and you split them off, but you've got it so that it's, um, you know, one on's on the left and one is on the right. That can be weird to listen to. You can down mix it to mono and it makes everything into the same on both channels, which is super good. Of course, you can balance left and right. For me, this is how far off in milliseconds OBS is from the Logitech camera to the sound that it gets from the 2408. I'm saying 12, 1248. So I have to really mess with the 66 milliseconds. There's a very lot. It's like a, that's like a frame and a half at 24p. Um, I like to have monitoring off. Now you can turn this, this is what this means. So um, if you want to listen to your input, but have it not go to streaming or recording, that's what this is. I don't want to listen to the output of OBS because I'm hearing it, my headphones are plugged into my audio interface. So I want to hear it from there. You can listen to it from OBS and have it streamed and output if you want as well. Now, these tracks, don't be confused. These are bundles of tracks. You always want to have track one on. And if you're doing a second stream, you can do two. I just do one and two just to make sure. And this is for monitoring purposes. Cool. Now, under the hood, uh, what else have I got here? That's kind of the end of it. Let's go to settings. I speak English, yo. I like the dark theme. I like it to check. Um, I, don't, I, get, I got tired of this. Uh, opening stats on the dialogue startup. Um, I like to make sure that I didn't accidentally click a button for both streaming and stopping the stream. Same with recording. Um, I don't want to record while streaming because it lugs the computer down too much and I get drop frames, but your, you know, your the results may vary. I don't want to keep recording when the stream stops because I don't want to be recording while I'm streaming in the first place. Uh, I didn't want to do any of this because I was having trouble with the streaming. So source alignment snapping, I enable. Um, that way it helps, you know, kind of lock uh, the the pieces that are on the screen. Uh, like I'll show what I mean. It just kind of snaps. So if I click on this, it helps me, you know, you can see it kind of jumping it into a better position for me there, which I like that snapping. Uh, let's see. I don't have any projectors. I don't need to worry about that. System tray enable. Uh, so that I can mess with uh, the, the switching. I don't need any previews. I, I don't really use studio mode at all, so I don't worry about that. And then multi-view, this is what my settings look like, yay. Under streaming, that's going to be whatever you're going to be sending to. This last setting is now, of course, uh, expired, but it's my Facebook setting. Uh, so here we go, the important stuff. So for streaming, I only stream audio track one. The encoder is X264. I, inform, I enforce the streaming service encoder settings so that I'm not bucking YouTube or Facebook. I just want to use whatever settings they're using. Thank you very much. And I only want to do rescaling if I'm going to Facebook, which is 12, 7, or 1280 by 720. And lately, I haven't been doing that. I know you just saw Facebook, but the last one I did was YouTube. Uh, I don't ever want rate control to be anything but constant bit rate. If you do VBR, ABR, CRF, AWOL, your audio will go out of sync. I'm just going to say that. It will go out of sync. 
And then uh, I don't want to use a custom buffer size, keyframe intervals too, CPU usage. I've tried a bunch of these. Medium seems to work just fine, which is super nice. Oh, let's see here. Recording. Uh, there's where it's going to go. Um, I use only the first audio track. Again, X264. Don't need to rescale. CBR, please. And this is 10,000 kilobaud or uh, 10 megabaud. Same kind of thing that I did for the streaming. For audio, uh, unfortunately, it forces you to compress. And as a result, it makes me do makes me do all of this. Um, you know, I got to compress the audio because it's streaming. So I just make it as high as I can. And no replay buffer. One of the reasons these are grayed out is because I'm actually streaming right now. That's why that's great. For us, generally, we always want 48K. You don't want 441. Boo hiss. We don't want anything but stereo, really, for streaming because no one really supports that as of yet. These are all disabled because I assigned them directly from that front window. Um, the meters is just kind of however you want to look at the audio meters. Um, and this is uh, going out uh, the audio of one of my uh, monitors just because I don't care that much. It just helps me here in the studio. I don't use push to mute or anything weird like that. As far as video goes, the canvas is always 1080 for me. Downscale filter is bilinear when I have to go to Facebook. Now, this is the critical thing right here. Common fa uh, frame per second values, 30. My camera is 30 frames per second. You don't want to force this into a resolution or to a frame rate that your camera isn't native to. Otherwise, not only does it lug down your computer to try to do that recalibration, re recalculation, down or upscaling, but it also you lose image quality. So make sure you know what your native frame rate of your camera is and lock it to that. I don't use hotkeys and I don't use any of this stuff. Uh, I guess that I do leave on. Yeah, no CBR, no fooling around with any of these things. I've had huge issues if these settings were not honored um, for streaming and even huger issues when these settings, which are almost identical except for the bit rate, weren't honored. If you go below 10K, you can, you know, especially if it's just, you're just standing there looking, but uh, you start losing resolution and it starts looking grainy. I don't do any filters on my audio because, well, the OBS filters aren't that great. I definitely do the keying from within OBS so that I get this lovely background that I have here, which is key. Hopefully this helps you with your streaming and settings for OBS and getting your content out there. If you've enjoyed this video, if it's been valuable to you at all, please subscribe to us here on this YouTube channel and come visit us at cinemasound.com where we have hundreds and hundreds of blog posts and articles and videos for you, not to mention all kinds of products to help you with your productions and give you that unfair competitive advantage with Hollywood-level immersion into your productions. Until then, we'll see you in the streaming studio. Even if you're